Welcome back to the channel Earth Signs. It's me, OU. I have a tarot card reading for you today. Now, this is the third time I've tried to record your message. Now, not sure how grounded the Earth Signs are today, but let's jump right into your reading for the Taurus, Virgo, and the Capricorn. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel to bring more Earth Signs and, and Tauruses into uh, the reading. But yeah, um, enjoy the message, man. Enjoy the message. See what we have for you today. Yeah, something's going on with the earth signs. Wata Guan. We have Page of Pentacles. Yeah, could be a finances. So that's what it is. Earth signs are, they get a lot of their confidence by uh, about, you know, their monies. How financially stable or well off they are. This could be someone starting a new job, not so sure about themselves. I'm even getting a small donation as well. Now, you shouldn't be making donations if you don't have any money to donate. It is indeed a blessed thing to be able to give, but don't be, <laughs> use discernment at the end of the day. You need to be able to pay your bills and feed your family. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, at a crossroads. Now they have blueprints in front of them, or maybe they're learning from someone that already um, uh, has expertise, maybe some sort of a financial professor or guru or something like that. financial class we have the world card so this could be foreign exchange yeah someone starting some sort of a new investing course stock market investing um, forex trading all that sort of thing what else do we have here yeah credit as well the world is run on credit America is the most powerful country in the world but China owns most of America's debt credit that's why secret, secretly China runs the world. <laughs> uh, let's have here. Or let's see what we have. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Man, I love it when the world and Wheel of Fortune comes back to back. Worldwide celebrity here. Or uh, travel. Getting, uh, getting a chance to experience uh, abundance. Now again, some people... I mean, you can't expect a, a paraplegic to go world traveling, but they can experience the world through the eyes of others, living vicariously through others, social medias and that sort of thing, getting other people's perspective and viewpoint on things, you know? Uh, I'm also getting a VPN, which is a virtual private network for people that like to keep their, um, their information secret as they... Um, travel these internet streets you know different countries have different blockades and they have certain restrictions on certain websites here so again that's part of the message as well exploration here something about a passport yeah some people can't even get a passport so the best way to experience america and america celebrities is to look at us through social medias hmm. let's see Ten of Swords. The numerology of the Wheel of Fortune is ten. So we have ten, ten. Some sort of a portal here. Some sort of a finality. Again, this is social. A uh, few different social media portals as well. So this Ten of Swords. Swords being the way that we think and the way that we talk and communicate. So this could be like ten different uh, social media platforms. I'm not sure if I can name ten of them off the top of my head, but hey. This is what you find yourself in when you try to juggle 10 social media platforms or take on everyone's uh, ideas. Yeah, too much internet is a bad thing. Yeah. Gives you a false idea. This is like living in, um, okay, and we have three of pentacles and I was going to give a three pronged um, example. Uh, New Miami Angeles. So... We have uh, Miami, New York, and Los Angeles, right? The three biggest melting pots, uh, besides Texas, of course. Three biggest melting pots. Now, living in these cities will give you a very false uh, idea of what's actually going on in America. You can go to any one of these three places and experience life in abundance, feel like you're in a life of the party, like you're about to get ready to walk past a celebrity at any moment. But what's actually going on in Idaho? What's actually going on in Denver, the dust bucket, and all these other places? So 
living in a popular city or state is one thing but again it gives you a false sense of what's actually going on amongst the commonwealth the common people again too much internet is bad for you just like your mom used to say stop sitting so close to the tv you're rotting your brain <laughs> or stop playing video games because you're rotting your brain right <laughs> now we have people playing video games for a living <laughs> looking at mom like what you said mom <laughs> i make more money than you and dad put together but three of pentacles yeah i mean children able to create side projects and multiple businesses uh out of their mother's basement their mother doesn't even know they run a six-figure business uh outside of their basement like mom i do reaction videos i play video games and i got merch what do you have hmm. the children teaching the parents two of swords mother's like I really can't say nothing or father's really like I really can't say nothing to you at this point missing the mark what am I gonna lecture you about it seems like you have more of an understanding what's going so this is the conversation that someone's having right now I'm channeling someone's conversation this is like me uh, um, was it about 12 13 years ago my last time um, spending time with my father in his household he's like go out and fill out job applications and all this sort of thing this is when i was going through a health issue as well he's like get out and go fill out job applications and all this type of thing and i'm literally looking at him like that's not the way things are done anymore you can't just go out with a pen or a pencil and go to different places and ask them do they have a paper application to fill out things are done online now you need a resume you need a um what is it uh what is it the google thing linkedin we do things differently nowadays <laughs> filling out an application is a one click away type of deal so again we have young children that are able to do things that their parents were never able to see uh or never able to accomplish or see within their life lifetime they won't understand it as well <laughs> they they just they just missed the target it goes over their head Man, channeling someone's conversation. I'm going to be tired after this. Six of Wands. Some sort of victory, a celebration, travel. Could be moving out of a parent's home due to the lack of understanding. The World Card. Yeah, this is world traveling. This could be college as well. Could be going off to college. But it's more like um, if you know anything about fortune... Um, I mean, if you're not going to college for a real job, like to be a lawyer or a doctor, like you don't need to go to school for like gender studies or grasshopper reproduction on the moon. <laughs> like you go to college for actual tangible things. This is like your parents trying to teach you something that's no longer valid. They're still wanting to fry chicken and, and corn oil grease when now we have air fryers nowadays. Yeah, man. I'm not that old and I'm not that young. I'm right in the middle. A 35-year-old millennial. The emperor, exactly. We are running the world currently at this time. The world is not being run by babies and it's not being run by baby boomers. It's run by those in the middle. The uh, divine masculine, the emperor, the Aries, the foolish one wanting to take a leap of faith. An initiator almost getting a fire starter here a lot of courage here they could be uh intertwined into some form of an entertainment again going back to the kid that is doing whatever he's doing playing games the content creator making a name for himself i'm gonna try to uh, judge the divine emperor the divine masculine are you serious we have nine of cups wish fulfillment a, your wish is different from someone else's wish. Mm -hmm. That's an accurate assessment. Nine of Cups on top of the Ten of Swords, though. So this could be, uh, yeah, people have different wishes than you as well. Um, no, they came out wrong. I was supposed to say something else. Um, it's a, like a false. It's like it, it, what comes with your wish is hard work. 
or it's not just about praying like fakes without worse is just a dead situation <laughs> like <laughs> really what else do we have three of pentacles we have the four of cups relationships and foundations someone's trying to ground themselves here could be moving out of a parent's home uh, so that you could take part in a relationship yeah this could be um, you know like a a father being overprotective of his daughter or a mother being overprotective of her son but it's time for the son to graduate or move on again it could be going to college could it be, be experiencing fraternization at college here yeah four of cups last message six of cups yeah entertainment communication some form of a gift spiritual flirtation this could be the last conversation that you're having uh with your parent not sure if this is like a death type of situation or if this is a oh you're finally leaving the nest yeah we even have it here the crow the ten of swords you've learned everything you've learned from a parent they can no longer teach you anything else Typically, a bird will push their pigeons or their chicks out of a tree. We see the crow here. We see the leaf falling. Someone already fell. Could be um, someone moving back in, back at home with their parents. I've seen this as well. Business owners uh, that are actually making a lot of money, and this sounds weird, moving back home with their, with their parents. <laughs> Crazy, right? Uh, but that's what I have for you here today, uh, Earth Signs. Grounding your energy today. Yeah, I mean, at least you were grounded in your energy here today. It, it seems like you're very stable. It just seems like a lot of people have opinions about what you're doing here. You have your own set of rules. You have your own things that you're wanting to go towards. Wish fulfillment. Maybe traveling. You want to be known worldwide. Some sort of a reputation. Wheel of Fortune, the world... Uh, the Emperor we have we have a lot of cups here we actually have a lot of people that uh, value your effort here so yeah it's like this is like a uh, having a nine to five during the day and being a superhero or vigilante uh, at nighttime your parents don't even know how valuable you are you have th the people that's closest to you that don't even know how valuable you are that often happens again I talk about the people that are that are the most comp that that they're so comfortable with you the friends and the family that see you every day that they let anything fly out of their mouth and sometimes it comes off disrespectful because they're so used to being around you they don't value your absence um what do we have 66 six of wands six of cups someone sexually attracted to you they're wanting to come towards you definitely now this could be advertisement uh, a lot of cups here we have four of cups we have the six of cups we have the nine of cups so you're if you're into, into content creation your subscriber base is growing you're having more cups being added to your table here what do you bring to the table more cups more people your soul tribe your family your community I mean, you only have one mother and father, but ask them to get in that casket with you at the end of the day when your life's over. I bet they won't do it. They'll cry on your or, uh, on the outside of your casket, but they're not going to get inside of it with you. So your 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 family, your friends and their opinions and these so-called uh, uh, things that you value. Um, you need to learn what I mean. I, it all, This seems like a very mature individual. So this story could be for other people that sometimes these things fly over their head you develop your own life you are the creator of your own destiny yeah there's outside influences and things that you maybe can't sidestep at the moment but don't let that be an excuse don't if you know you you like that's like if i have a problem now like, don't, don't act like you didn't know that you had the problem that you have today when you were thinking about these problems six months ago. Like you didn't know you needed an extra $500 for rent or something like that. And don't wait to the same problems that you're going to be facing down at the end of the year when you can sit, up, sit down right now. See, get yourself out of these hamster wheels and stop making excuses. 
if you know today that something was B is BS, you probably knew that it was BS last year and you'll probably know that it's BS next year, but you're refusing to do something about it. But we have very mature individual again, the two year olds are the of today are the 22 year olds of yesterday's with their little tablets and their little uh, parental guided cell phones and whatnot. Man, these kids are spoiled nowadays. <laughs> Imagine with the kids of the future, how spoiled they'll be. But that's what I have for you, Earth Signs. Um, make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel to bring more Earth Signs into the reading for more tangible uh, perspectives on these things. Peace.